Within the healthy human body, serotonin is an essential hormone that regulates mood, normal gut motility, cardiac development, and heart rate. However, in patients with metastatic neuroendocrine tumors, functioning net cells act as a factory, overproducing serotonin. Within these cells is tryptophan. Tryptophan binds to tryptophan hydroxylase, called TPH. TPH is the rate-limiting enzyme that converts tryptophan to serotonin which is then stored in secretory granules inside the cell and released systemically. After being released extracellularly, serotonin is converted to 5-hydroxyindoleacetic acid, called 5-HIAA, a metabolite of serotonin. 5-HIAA is then metabolized in the kidney and excreted as urinary 5-HIAA. The intracellular overproduction of tumor-derived serotonin can eventually flood the extracellular tumor microenvironment, fueling a cascade of symptoms that can include life-altering diarrhea, flushing, bronchospasm, and valvular heart disease, all of which can negatively impact patients' overall health. Historically, the mainstay of neuroendocrine tumor treatment has been somatostatin analogs called SSAs. These agents bind extracellularly to somatostatin receptors 2 and 5 on the neuroendocrine tumor cell, inhibiting the release of serotonin and other vasoconstrictive substances. However, the majority of patients taking SSAs lose their response over time, including 50% within the first year of therapy. Therefore, the overproduction of intracellular serotonin remains unchecked and symptoms may persist, including chronic carcinoid syndrome diarrhea, also called CSD. Serotonin levels are a measure of disease severity in carcinoid syndrome. It's time to take comprehensive control of tumor-derived serotonin by going beyond the surface to target serotonin overproduction where it starts, inside the metastatic net cell. Developed by Lexicon Pharmaceuticals, Zermelo to Lotristat ethyl is a first in-class oral TPH inhibitor developed to target and turn down the overproduction of serotonin within neuroendocrine tumor cells. In the metastatic net cells, Zermelo inhibits TPH, thereby decreasing serotonin overproduction. Through the inhibition of TPH, Zermelo reduces the frequency of carcinoid syndrome diarrhea, CSD. Zermelo is indicated for the treatment of carcinoid syndrome diarrhea, CSD, in combination with SSA in adults inadequately controlled by SSA therapy alone. The FDA approval of Zermelo was based on results from a 12-week, double-blind, placebo-controlled, i.e. stable-dose SSA therapy, randomized, multi-center phase 3 trial. In this study, Zermelo 250 mg three times a day plus SSA was compared with SSA alone. Over 12 weeks, Zermelo plus SSA delivered significant and superior reductions in bowel movement frequency, the most debilitating aspect of carcinoid syndrome, compared to SSA alone. With Zermelo, patients experienced a two times greater reduction in daily bowel movement frequency. Improvements in bowel movement frequency were observed in 89% of patients receiving Zermelo plus SSA. Zermelo was safe and well tolerated in most patients. The combination of Zermelo plus SSA did not result in higher discontinuation rates than SSA alone. The most common adverse reactions included nausea, headache, increased gamma glutamyl transferase, depression, peripheral edema, flatulence, decreased appetite, and pyrexia. Zermelo may cause constipation, which can be serious. Monitor patients for signs and symptoms of constipation and or severe, persistent, or worsening abdominal pain. Discontinue Zermelo if severe constipation or severe, persistent, or worsening abdominal pain develops. Zermelo may interact with CYP3A4 substrates, and if the patient needs short-acting octreotide, it should be given 30 minutes after Zermelo. By targeting the intracellular overproduction of tumor-derived serotonin, Zermelo turns down a key driver of carcinoid syndrome diarrhea. Make Zermelo plus SSA your next step for a higher level of control. Visit zermelo.com slash lexcares or call 1-844-ZERMELO to contact your local LexCares specialty pharmacy and enroll patients in the LexCares Patient Support Program.